Okay guys, so I uh, jumped onto the expert mode, playthrough mode, to do a little bit of inventory cleanup before I record. And this guy spawned. Yeah, this guy just spawned on me. So I thought I'd record it. Ugh, God, it's like 9 o'clock at night. And all I wanted to do was do some inventory management so I could record tomorrow's episode really nicely. Um, but thankfully, I always have my recording software set up. Oh yeah. YouTube Pro all the way. Now... I know that the strategy to this thing is just a run, um, but honestly, I feel like I'm going to lose this. <laughs> this is not my day for uh, for recording boss fights, because this seems insane. Uh, okay. So I'm going to heal up. I know it's really dark. This thing actually just spawned randomly. It was one of them. Uh, it won't be long. It won't be long. You know what's coming, don't you? You all know. I know. You don't want to know if you don't know already know. There we go. There it is. <laughs> That's what's coming. Okay. Yeah, no way I'm going to do enough damage to actually ever beat this guy. Yeah. God, it's honestly scaring me so much. This, this boss scares me so, so much. And he's doing like 50 damage every single, every single hit. But every single time he does that attack, which is not going to be good for me. Unless... No, it's not. Oh, come on. Am I going to be a scrub lord of the day? Am I going to be the first YouTuber to die in expert mode? Yeah, hell! I'm tapping H! I'm tapping H, I'm tapping H, I'm tapping H. Oh my god, I got 100 health. Maybe this is a game changer. Maybe it's a game changer. Come on. Let's pray it's a game changer. Come on. Come on, please be a game changer. Be a game changer. Come on. Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god. How did that even happen? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was so fluky. <laughs> my reaction then. True genuine reaction. <laughs> what the hell? I was not expecting that fight to happen, and I was not expecting it to be... Oh, my God. <laughs> I did not think we'd win then. I thought that was it. We'd lost. <laughs> oh, my God. As if I managed to heal up in time. Come on, let's undo this thing. We've got the Shield of Gafulu, which allows the player to dash into an enemy. <laughs> so mad. That's so mad. Um, the trick is now, it's like, what do we swap over? It's definitely the Banner Star Power. 30 melee damage. Allows player to dash to an enemy, double tap, and it's an expert mode item. Man, maybe I should do an iron video on this. <laughs> uh, joke is, if you've not seen me before, I already have. Yeah, I love it. Um, so that was that. Um, that was that, definitely. Wow. Honestly, it's blown my mind. Uh, that I actually managed to do that because look I was just stood here and I'm, I'm thinking about like oh okay this can go in building because I've got all these awful chests and I was just thinking man if I'm going to do an expert mode playthrough I need to do it properly and uh, get everything sorted we'll craft all this demonite what can we actually craft with 21 demonite but no scales uh, we can make the malassi um, which I'm not too fond of um, oh, oh. we can make the fisher of souls which is really good if you're going to um if you're gonna do fishing, which is something I want to incorporate into the series, um, yeah, there you go. Absolutely crazy stuff. Absolutely insane. So I'm gonna take a little break. Like I said, it isn't really at night, and I'm gonna come back tomorrow refreshed, and we're gonna carry on with this episode. But that was bloody crazy, man. <laughs> but what a good day to record. Hey, so just to fill you in, what I'm currently doing is I'm doing a lot of maintenance on the world for the next episode of the Antifal Expert Mode playthrough, which I say next episode, it's the episode you're currently watching right now. Look at that inception. Um, but one of the things I'm actually facing is just a goblin army. Now, these guys don't do anything special in Expert Mode, and they're not even really a challenge anymore. Oh, I probably will die. You know me. So I didn't think I'd show the whole thing because I have so many videos on YouTube of me fighting this thing. So I thought I'd just skip over it. But yeah, like I'm, I'm currently, what I'm currently working on is like a better stadium for the Year of Worlds. You know, a better strategy plan. You know, because I want to get these episodes pumping out a little bit faster and showing a little bit better stuff. So 
Uh, like I said, you'll be watching this now, but this is what I'm currently up to. Hey guys, so a really quick status update on how I'm coming along with uh, this episode so far in my free time. I've got lots of strange plants, which is pretty cool because we're going to look awesome. I've crafted some potions, I've got some iron skin and some regeneration. I got a night owl, and I think I got a calming potion earlier, yeah. So that reduces enemy aggression, and I'm also here today to actually find a shark fin to make a shark um, potion. Well, not really a shark potion, but a hunter's potion. And that should help me see the Eater of Worlds when I fight him. And then, what else do I have? I have some peace candles that I made from my pink gel. Um, and these uh, make creatures less hostile, and that should help with the surrounding enemies. And that's about it. I think after this, I think I'm going to go do the fight, so... I'll be waiting out for some sharks. Okay, so I'm all ready now. I have everything equipped. I have all my potions. And what I'm going to fight him with is a space gun, some grenades, some spiky balls. And hopefully that will be it. If this doesn't work, however, um, I think I'm probably going to take an approach where I use like um, the throwing class. Because with the, like, with the gear that we've got right now... I guess it would be completely possible to go and mine out some fossils in the desert and then see what we could do. But I'm going to try out with this setup. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But uh, I am ready. Oh, the dye trade has arrived. Actually, let's go back and let's see what dyes we have. Oh, we got a traveling merchant too. Hello. Do you sell anything of use? Nope. <laughs> Don't want any of that. Alright, so where's our dye trader? Alright, it's at the top. So we're going to go grab him. Whoop. There we go. Strange plants. Strange plants. Strange plants. Strange plants. Yeah, we had quite a lot. Uh, so we got negative dye, we got shadow dye, and then we got mushroom dye, right? Uh, where's our mushroom dye? Glowing mushroom dye. So let's have a look at this. Ooh. That looks pretty interesting, doesn't it? Oh, and it has a cool effect when you have it all on. I like that. All right, so we try shadow. Let's take these all off. Shame they don't stack. Oh no, they do. What am I on about? <laughs> uh, awful. Alright, and then let's try the last one. What was the last one? The last one was... Negative die. That was pretty cool. Oh wow, nice. <laughs> I guess nice, I guess not. This is this, this weird, that is. <laughs> this is really weird. Um, we'll take all of that off, actually. Now, if we're going to have to have any, it's the mushroom dye. We can put some mushroom dye on him. That and that. Okay. Seems cool to me. Nice. Okay, so we're going to be making our way now to the Eater of Worlds. And hopefully, like I say, hopefully it's going to be a successful fight. Because if not, that's really going to suck. Because I've spent so long getting this stuff ready for this one since last episode. Um, there's a lot of like, stuff in my own free time to do this one. Uh... <laughs> Had to do it. Had to do it. Woo! Tell you what, it's going to be great when we find some Hermes boots as well, because with the current setup that we have, we're insanely slow. Our mobility sucks. But yeah, I think we're going to I think we're gonna be fine with this fight. The Hunter's Potion is probably like... I don't know. It's like so essential. And I'll show you the new stadium that I've built... Um, because I, I found out that on the Wikipedia page it says that if you let it come above ground, what actually happens is it gets like a, an attack or defense bonus. I can't remember which one, or it becomes more aggressive in general. Um, so I thought by keeping it underground would probably have a better chance. Uh, and like I said, I have a calming and some peace potions. And so hopefully that should get rid of some of the extras that we were worrying about. Alright, so let's go this way. <laughs> This way we mined out all that meteorite. And then this over here is the original stadium that we used. Ooh, and it's not that one. Uh, it's this one over here. So it's this one. Alright, let's go down. Whoa! There we go. Okay, so this is where we're going to fight him. Uh, this is as big of an area as I could kind of mine out. Um, hopefully it gives us some mobility. I imagine here will be the best spot. I just want to see, will these sit on top of platforms? Yeah, they do. Okay, awesome. Um, well, I guess this is going to be it. <laughs> this is scary. Alright, so... Alright, we want to eliminate these, so we're going to place down some peace candles, which are here. So we'll place one... Ooh, should we place one here? 
Oh, I think you need to place them on platforms. There we go. That's a one piece candle there. And then we'll place one. Ooh, one over here. Where's the other one there? Alright, and we'll take this guy out. We'll wait for him to be done. Come on, buddy. Alright, okay. So then we need to buff up. Be for buffs. And then take the worm food. And let's go. Like I said, if this doesn't work, it doesn't work. Don't worry too much about it. Oh, wow. These really are doing insane damage. But he's got me in a loop. And that's never good. See, this is aggression kicking in. We need to get away from this area here. Come on. Just let it pass. Oh, why you do this? Why you do this? Alright, okay. We have somewhat of a fighting chance now. No. We have absolutely screwed this. We have screwed this to beyond belief. <laughs> this, this is screwed. <laughs> absolutely. Because it keeps trapping us and it's awful... But man, these spike balls really do way too much damage. Oh, come on. Come on, let's pick up a health, few health potions and let's do this. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's only like... Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Honestly. Whew. Oh my god, my heart's going so fast. <laughs> my heart's going so fast that I'm still ill and I've got... Whew, I'm still in. I've got a really bad um, chest. Oh my god. Who thought we'd lose? Come on. I knew we were doing insane damage, but who thought we'd lose? Come on. No no shaming if you did. No shaming if you did. Alright, so we'll grab our little piece of candles and we'll get out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that's two really awful boss fights in one episode for us. Uh... <laughs> Ah, it's made my day. Okay, so let's come out here and let's open this up. And we get a worm scarf. Awesome. We'll probably replace that with that. Um, and let's go craft up our demonite stuff. We're going to have to think about what approach to take next. So if we smelt this all down. Demonite. And we put it with... Ooh, so we got 48 bars. We put it with our other stuff here. This stuff. We have 69 bars. And then let's see. So we need to craft the pickaxe, obviously. Uh, we'll craft the armor set. I think we're going to need to do one more fight, aren't we? Damn it, we're going to need to do one more fight. Ooh, but what do we use for now? Do we do we craft the malice? I don't think we should craft the malice or whatever, because obviously the jungle one is a lot better. Um, I say we do one more fight, um, and then we just go from there, because... I don't know, I don't know if I could do one more fight right now, though. <laughs> But I think this is uh, this is gonna wrap it up for today's episode. I know it's not as long as some of the other ones that are like 25, 30 minutes, but it's taken me so long to make this one because I've had a lot of stuff to do in like real life and stuff, and doing this all in my free time is just a little bit crazy. So yeah, we've got um, two pieces of the armor set. Obviously, we're not gonna mess with that too much right now because if we did, it probably wouldn't be good for us. Look at that. We're looking we're looking really suave today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all for watching. My name is James, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hello, Tri Enthusiasts. My name is James, and Nez is back, and Nez is ready to get some yo yo. So today is going to be one of them live episodes. No real jump cuts. And what we're going to be focusing on is getting the Cascade, which we need to get from some of the hell enemies. And we also need a yo yo die, because we don't have any single die. And that's really strange, because we have been playing quite a long time. And we have not had a die from a traveling merchant, nor a skeleton merchant. Which, which you know, it's really disappointing, right? Really, really stunning. And I'm really sorry if there's any XX noise um, today, because there's a lot of construction going around um, my little area today. So, hopefully there will be no banging. So today we're going to just be starting off by going straight to the underworld. Ooh. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Throat is still sore from being ill. But yeah, we're going to be going straight to the underworld today, and we are going to be... Destroying lots of things, right? That's the plan, right? We've already got... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm really ill today. We've already got our Valor. Our Valor already has the Magma Stone, so we've already got that fire effect, so it's not something we have to really worry about right now. We're not really doing that for this fire effect. What we're doing it for is greatness, right? We need every single yo-yo if we're ever going to win, right? 
So let's carry on doing that. Oh yeah, this black slime. We'll grab that. Man, my fruit keeps going today. Look at that. Listen to that groggy sounds. Ah, I love some coffee. Make it all better. But yes, today is a live episode because um, I didn't want to spend too much time just in my own world, just you know, farming away at stuff. I I really don't like farming for stuff in Terraria um, off camera because you know what? It's insanely boring for me. And to be honest, it's not that entertaining for you at home. So we're going to do it live today. And we got medusa -ed. Absolutely medusa -ed, but Avalor is insanely powerful, right? We got a very, very powerful Valor. Now, it may be worth also mining for some Hellstone while we're down there. You know, it probably is worth it. We managed to craft... Oh no, we managed to craft every single piece. What am I thinking of? Wow, we really are strong. <laughs> Look at that. There was me getting confused between two different series. Wow. So we're actually, we're actually doing pretty well with this playthrough so far. Like I say, it's all down to random number generators, right? We haven't had a skeleton merchant yet, right? We can't control that, right? It's completely random, right? And by random, I mean really, really random because honestly, like, most of my worlds barely ever see the guy, right? Where is he? What's he off doing? That's why I want to know. <laughs> Hashtag find the skeleton man. They're gonna mine through here. But a lot of people have been saying that a really good way to find the skeleton merchant is to mine through the world like this, as you can see I'm doing here. But make a nice little clear path that cuts through the whole of the world. However, that honestly seems like it takes too long. And the trick with anything, uh, finding anything in life, is to not look for it. <clears throat> and eventually it will show up. And I'm really sorry about the coughing. It will eventually show up, so I have faith in that. Today, though, it's all about getting that 1 in, like, 500 drop rate of that cascade, right? Because that's what we need. Now, the trick is to get it before we go into hard mode as well. It's not something that we can, like, essentially just skip over, right? Which is a shame. Because if I was doing a yo-yo playthrough where you could only use yo-yos and that was the whole idea, then it would be fine. But because of my one, um, and mine is get every single yo-yo, right? We have some difficult challenges to face. Right, compared to a lot of other people. Um, because they can just, you know, they can swing by the game with a yo-yo. Right, they could probably use this yo-yo here to go to the next one, and then they could skip about five in the hard mode. We're dedicated, right? We're Nez, right? Nez needs every single yo-yo there is. And that's what we're dedicated to doing today. Now, I'm really weary about killing enemies over this little lava pool here. Ooh! Because I don't want the yo-yo to drop in and we lose it. Because if we lose it... I would definitely rage quit. Be slamming my keyboard around. Be, I don't know, interrupted by my mum. My mum says, you know, James, keep it down. I don't know. <laughs> that does happen. That's a lot of gaming cliches. It doesn't happen to me, of course, but... <laughs> I see it happen. I see it happen. So we're just going to fly over here. And honestly, it's all just about sitting in today and just... Really praying for that nice little drop. Because we did this last time. Last time I did this, um, I recorded it. You know, we prayed for that drop. And guess what happened? It happened, right? We, we managed to get it pretty well. Right? Pretty much in the first five to ten minutes. There is some things that we actually have to be doing real, right now. So I should stop just messing around. For one, we need to get loads of ash blocks, right? Because we're going to need ash blocks. We're actually building our little uh, pathway across hell. Because we're not going to be using the water walking boots or anything like that. We do actually need a clear path. Um, because we need to be able to dodge and such. So we'll just grab as much ash while we're here. And we'll keep building and keep talking. And that should be the focus of today's episode. I should be able to squeeze a good 20 minutes out today. Um, an interesting 20 minutes. I don't want it to get too long if we're not finding anything. Okay, is this going to be the one? Nope. Are you going to be the one? Nope. You did drop a nice heart though. Ooh, I hate them little lava pools. That the ones that are actually secretly lava pools, but don't actually look like it. They look like aesthetics. Okay. Ooh, a heart read poach. I'm sure, yeah. I thought I'd picked that up earlier. I didn't realize it didn't. Like this one here, where I put my mouse. That's a little fake lava pool. It's actually a real one, but it looks like a fake. I'm onto you. Okay. Now a lot of people were commenting as well in the last week's episode um, that. Hey James, um, it doesn't really matter what you kill, you know, it just counts as people in the underworld. It doesn't, um, it literally, it's a specific drop to that category of enemies, 
in the sense of like the ones that spawn. Yeah, it's like you know you have to get it from a hell slime or like a bat or um, one of the bone serpents. It's not actually just you could come down with an eater of worlds and just mess stuff up. Sadly, it's not like that. Which is a shame, really, because it would be cool if it was like that, because then we could at least do some pretty cool boss fight stuff and not have to worry about such trivial things. Alright, so we're going to kill this guy. Alright, he's all gore and blood. And then we're going to come over here and across here. Ooh, we need to think about where we're going to build this thing, actually. So let's see, we, we actually spawn over here, don't we? Just... Alright, let's have a look on the map. Let's see if we can find a clear path. To be honest, here seems like a clear path. Oh, no, I've already started building there. So I may as well continue that one, actually. How do we get to this one? We need to make sure it was completely all cut out, though, if we're going to do stuff like this. Alright, now I think... I think we can just turn on auto mine and just go for it. I'm not sure how big this is going to have to be, but I'll just keep going. So, auto build. Oh no, you don't really get auto build with this. What I'm going to do is swap these around though. So then it's like, build, yo-yo. Build, yo-yo. Alright, hopefully this doesn't isolate all the enemies as well. That would be a bit of a shame. Okay, ooh, he's getting a bit close. Not close enough though, eh? Okay, let's keep going this way. Oh, Hellbat. Well, nothing. I think this guy down there is just going to keep teasing us with his presence. He can come along with us. He can be our mascot. Oh, oh, see, see? Teasing us, teasing us. He's playing the long game, he's playing the long game. Oh, we're already running out of blocks, which is a bit of a shame. Man, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about calling them blocks. I don't know why, but when I said blocks there, I was like, I was like, immediately it's puff. I feel like I'm playing like a uh, like Lego or something. Not like Lego is bad at all, like that. But I mean, like, like it, it's better to call them like, oh, I've run out of obsidian or oh, ash ashes. I don't know. Like, I've run out of my ash block instead of like, oh, I've run out of blocks. I've run out of bricks. It'd just be weird. Like I prefer calling like wood wood. You don't just pick up down some wood and call it blocks. But I guess they are blocks in the grand scheme of things. This bone serpent really isn't going, is it? I did say it could be our mascot, but he is teasing us a little bit too much. We just need to get some more ash brick while we're down here. That's the goal at least. Come on. One is gonna have to drop it. All I just need to do is kill like 500 enemies and then we're good. Right? <laughs> I hate the random number generator words like that. Like I actually could, like I actually could kill 500 enemies and not get it. That scares me. Because that would make for a very, very uninteresting episode. Okay, we'll take you down. And then we're just trying to find little slivers of ash that we can actually grab. We'll do, I don't know. Because this, this, how many did that take? That took, that was probably about 110, 20 blocks um, of ash. <laughs> so we'll try and get maybe like another 250. I think that'll be enough. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm destroying this guy with my pickaxe. I don't think that really counts though. Nope, no valor. Uh, cascade. Come down here, and we'll mine out this area as well. Man, I feel like my uh, my flaming pickaxe has extra flames on it because of that magma stone, which is actually quite funny. All right, okay. Well, that was 180, so we'll just go from there, and we'll we'll probably find a next big sliver by the time we're finished building with this stuff. All right, now it's probably best we work it up to there just to save a few blocks. So it goes like that. Yeah, that's probably better. Come on, guys. Work your way through. Come on. Let's tease you. Come over here. Ooh, there's one here, though. 
Well, he's not dropping anything. Are you gonna drop anything? Are you gonna drop anything? No. We will find it, though. We will find it. That's the fun thing, because we actually will. Like, there's no possible chance it would never find one. Well, I guess there is a small percentage, but... I have faith in our YouTube look. Alright, so we'll carry on this way. Ooh, I like the little droplets of lava there. Fun little story, I'll just tell a little story while we're just busy. Funny thing is, right, I was, um... I did one of the first big 1.3 spoilers um, that ever got to, like, be shown by anyone other than a dev. Which is obviously really, really cool. Um, and it was meant to show the the bee's knees, the bee bow. Um, but I managed to let slip um, one of the spoilers, which was the lava droplets. And none of us spotted it before the spoiler went out, which is actually pretty funny. Um, it just shows, like, how such little things, like, attention to detail and such, like, you can overlook, but they're there and... Do you know what I mean? They mean something because they're there. I thought that was really cool. Come on. Nope. Alright, we're doing alright so far. We're, we've built a good distance. People are getting trapped under here, which is kind of annoying. We'll have a look over here. We'll just see what um, see what enemies will spawn. We've got one enemy nearby. I'm just thinking if we get away from that guy, then they'll stop spawning underneath and they might spawn on top again. Need to find an area where it's not worth spawning underneath. So probably like eh, probably this little area we're coming up to now actually. So this area here. This area right here. This is probably the best area. Um but we should be able to do something while we're here, so we'll grab some um ash while we're here. Tell you what, we're gonna have to come by the thing is, right, I keep saying this, I keep saying, oh, we'll have to come back and unlock these chests, but then I remember, honestly, there really is no point. We have money, right? We have money. We can't use any of the weapons out of them. Like, we literally got 28 gold on us. Probably got more back in the uh, piggy bank at home. Which is good, cause it's usually because I don't die much with this character. If I only die, it's really stupid, like, deaths. Because uh, yo-yos are really, really powerful. Even without the die, like, even without the die, we've done absolutely fine. Ooh, hello, sir. Take you out. Oh my god, we got a plumber's hat. That's awesome. They're actually quite rare, if I remember rightly. Well, it makes sense. We have been down here a while. Let me just have a look on the map. I just want to see. Uh, oh, that's the die trade. I just didn't want to see if the traveling merchant had spawned. I've not seen it. Wow. <laughs> we got a plumber's hat. That's cool. Obviously, I'm not going to keep it on because obviously it's the branded Nez. We can't, uh, we can't change him around. I mean, you don't see Nez in a Mario thing. However, Nez is a Nintendo uh, licensed. I guess Nintendo licensed. What would you say? He's the property of Nintendo. If I remember rightly, I think he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, Earthbound is owned by Nintendo. I don't think it's like third party than licensed. Anyway, that's a really boring conversation. <laughs> so we'll just carry on. Ooh, racking up these enemies, man. If we had a kill counter, right? Like, you would see just how many enemies I have actually killed to do this. Like, because I've done a lot off screen as well, between episodes, so. Okay, this way. Alright, let's keep building. Um, let's keep building and keep moving forward. Uh, what am I going to do with this area? I think it's probably worth lowering it, like this. Yeah, it's probably worth doing that, and then doing this, and then extending it that way. Like this. I want to make sure we just have lots of coverage, just in case you know I start to panic and I want to run ahead. Like, I want to know that I would be able to get out alive. Alright, we're going to mine, we're going to place upwards here. I'm going to go straight over this lava pile, and just carry on going. Oh, are you going to be the bat? Every time I see an enemy, I'm just thinking, are you going to be the one that, you know, finishes this episode? Are you going to be it? What if it is this bat? And I'm trapping it right now. Should we see if it was this bat? Should we see? Eh, I don't want that bat. <laughs> what if it's this demon? Yeah, it's not exactly that demon. My god, random number generator, man. Red, if you're watching this, please increase this. 
<laughs> no, I'm only kidding. It would it would probably break something in the game. <laughs> like, I'm sure like I we tweak the yo-yo percentage slightly to the left, and um, Moon Lord gets defeated with one swipe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I love little things like that. I love that like the slightest little thing can break a game in terms of balancing. It's crazy. Um, okay. Alright. Ooh. Well, it's not you. Come back up. <laughs> Hell though, it's looking so much nicer than it did before. Looking so much brighter as well, I love it. There's definitely one of my biggest 1.3 loves is this lovely background which is obviously um, I've seen how it's made it's insanely complicated the way it's all paralleled and parallaxed and whatever um, seems like the raw images of what makes the actual hell background it's actually really really cool like if you follow my mouse here like this is a layer that's a layer that's a layer that's a layer like half of this bit here will be a layer look that's animation that's definitely a layer this is a layer that's a layer that's a layer. Do you know what I mean? It's all, honestly, it's all insane. What is that on the map? That right there. Oh, it's this web. Oh. And that looked oddly specific as well. Should we go have a look? Alright, buddy. No cascade for us. Alright, where was it? It was here, right? Is this thing, this is the square. Should we bash it away? That looks really, really odd. Um, I don't think we should be venturing upwards. Not got much to see. May refresh the enemies down below a little bit though. Ooh, water walking potion, I'll take that. I love getting potions from pots. Pots and potions are great. So, Nez has not managed to find anything good today, which is a bit of a shame. I'm not too impressed with that. Not too happy that we still haven't managed to find the cascade, but got to keep grinding, right? Got to keep grinding on. I think I will actually have to do the cascade in my free time. I feel like dedicating more than two episodes to it would be a bit of a shame. I think next episode what I'll do is I'll find the cascade, which I imagine will take me a very long time. Um, I'll find the cascade and then what we can do is uh, we'll defeat the wall of flesh in the next episode. I think that's going to be a good little sign. Uh, ooh, come on, hellbats. Like a bat out of hell. I don't know the words. Tell you what, this is a good thing. I was running then, uh, jumping then. You don't even have to jump on this track, which is good. It's going to be good for later, because what it means is, like, we can have, um, like, elevated systems where, like, we jump down and then we can run from one end of the world to the other and then have it swing back up again with some kind of, like, massive rope chain or something. Instead of building like a platform above ground, we can build it on the ground. Tell you what, would be cool to have a um, a minecart a minecart track that goes that cuts through the world. I know that would take absolutely forever, and you'd have to get the dimensions just right, but it would uh, it would look really good, and it would be very very convenient. Okay, absolutely nothing today. However, Nez has built this fantastic little sky bridge, right? We've got to give credit to him for that, because, wow. At least we're going to be able to defeat the Wall of Flesh. Come on. I just want to keep lingering on with these kills, because I just want it so bad. Got a guide voodoo there. No cascade. No cascade. Are you going to drop it? Menacing Obsidian Rose. See, I don't know what that is. One sec. Do you mind if I just bin some... Bin some shiznies? Don't need that health stone. All right, okay. Reduces damage from touching lava. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I actually really like that, right? If we get rid of this band of regen for a minute, right? This gives us plus four damage. That's actually really good. I will happily take that. That is a, that's a, oh my God, we got the cascade. Look at that look. Oh my God. We finally did it, and it's a it's a one drop. Yo yo! Oh my god! We well, you know what's happening next episode, don't you guys? Don't you? Oh yeah! So we got two really cool drops. Then we, we'll so far this episode, right? Let's let's count our merits. 
We've built a whole sky bridge, right? Which I probably will extend just a little bit in my free time. We have got the obsidian rose, which is actually really cool, right? I, I can I can appreciate something like this. Um, we got the plumber's hat, and that's obviously really rare. And we got a demonic cascade in the last minute. I was just about to give up as well because I was like, oh, hit the 20 minute mark. And here we go, right? Should we test? Ah, oh, yes. Go on, right? Let's celebrate. Come on, let's uh, let's go back with the magic mirror. It'd have been a lot louder, but it's really busy today. Otherwise, it'd be a lot louder about this. I'm actually really excited. Oh, yeah. All right. So this is where our cascade's going to go. And then we got, like, four just in the pre-hard mode. Like, in the, not the pre-hard mode, but the early hard mode that comes up next. And then, ah. Oh. So that's only going to leave us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven yo-yos, right? Wow. Okay, well, have a fantastic day, everyone. I wish you all the best. Um, thank you all for watching. If you managed to make it to the end, even though we didn't find anything for the first 20 minutes, thank you so much. I really appreciate people like you because you are the people that keep this series going. So thank you very, very much. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look how awesome this is. Badass. But yeah. So what, we could probably, um, probably get rid of the melee. Um, probably get rid of the magma stone now because this already inflicts. Um, fire, doesn't it? So, look, let this. Oh, no. Well, it's not that much fire. We'll have more fire. So, thank you all for watching. My name is James. Peace.